come with me to a Waymo self-driving car experience. We'll be sharing fun facts of self-driving cars, sitting in the front experience, and more adventures. This is part two. Here's where we last left off. <laughs> we were getting ready to ride our second Waymo of the day to go to La Mission. Sitting in the front. Oh my God, this is a colorful one. <laughs> I'm sitting in the front now, dance to the back. We're an experienced start ride. People were recording us earlier. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's starting. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Oh, the window opens too. <laughs> People are recording. <laughs> like imagine you're just going on a runway and then people are just taking pictures of you. That's how it feels like when you're in a self-driving car. Okay, we're gonna so move cool. on. Oh my god, we're moving soon! This is my second time and I'm still so excited. <laughs> I think it's trying to figure out how to get out because there's so many cars passing by. Our team is working to get you moving. <laughs> oh my god, it's moving. It's, oh my god, people look angry! <laughs> this, is a, this is a tough situation. I know! Okay. Ah, it's moving! Yeah, now we hit a red line. <laughs> really? <laughs> the Waymo driver is in control at all times. I feel like I'm in a dystopian society. <laughs> it does feel a little bit different sitting in the front. <laughs> it's a 26 minute ride this time. It's a long ride. <laughs> so I don't know if it's because I'm recording or if I'm sitting in the front, but I feel more motion sickness than um, when I sat in the back. <laughs> oh, interesting. So, <laughs> I, I heard that to be able to go on a Waymo right now, you need to get on a wait list. Uh, was it hard to get off the wait list? Yeah, I was in a wait list for like six months. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, there are a limited number of cars and everyone wants to use it. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, it's like an exclusive club. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it was hard, it was hard to get on it. Oh, man. Um, I don't know if it's because of SF or because of this car, but it is definitely more wobbly <laughs> this time. So David used to work at a self-driving car company, so I was wondering if you could share some fun facts maybe about self-driving cars or anything that you think would be cool to know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> think about it and ask me again. Maybe okay, okay. Fun things about self driving cars. Uh, or like maybe um, because you were an engineer, you could talk about like how these cars work. Like how is yeah. it able to awesome. yeah. self drive? Cool. So if you saw the outside of the car, there are a bunch of sensors on them. There's a like, there's like cameras on every angle of the car, every corner. There's lidars, radars, even microphones to hear the sounds of horns and like sirens from other vehicles so you can actually see on the map there everything else the car sees um, from the cameras and the other sensors so that's its perception of the world so that's the perception stack and then it uses all that information to figure out where to go so like there's been a bunch of human drivers training the car over like 15 years. Wow. So imagine you've been learning how to drive for 15 years. All that training data is used to train a driving model and that's the Waymo driver. So yeah. Wow. Uh, it takes a really, really, really long time. I don't know, humans can probably learn how to drive in like a couple weeks or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, it takes AI 15 years. <laughs> uh, I see. Because of the safety standard, right? Mm. So it has to be safer than a human. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for it to be allowed to be on the streets. Uh, the error rate has to be near zero. So it has to be like a really, really, really good driver. Um, and eventually these are going to be all over the world and no one's going to drive anymore. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Waymo is the same price as Uber. Would you take it? Oh, definitely. 
because as you can see, we're being like very loud and silly in the car right now. And <laughs> I'd be too embarrassed to do it if there's a somewhere right here. <laughs> that if you're in Arizona, you don't need to be on the wait list to ride on a Waymo apparently, because that's actually where the Waymo project started. But then like if it's SF or LA, there's not as many, so you need to wait pretty long on a wait list in order to get it. Yeah, if you land in Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually take a Waymo from the airport to, to wherever you want to stay. Yeah, I, I saw a video about it and I think someone said taking a Waymo in Arizona is around the same price as taking an Uber. Yeah, so I think the cost here will eventually come down. You know how there's search, search pricing for Uber mm -hmm. during like peak hours? Yeah. Right now it's always peak hours for Waymo because there's not enough cars. Yeah. So eventually <laughs> when there's more cars, the prices are going to go. Ah. Wait, so once you get off the wait list, you can order a Waymo whenever you want? Whenever you want, 247, yeah. Wow. Anytime. That's so cool. Yeah. Props to David for waiting six months so I didn't have to wait six months. <laughs> I should totally get on the wait list, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very soon it's going to be all over the Bay Area. It's great also because, like, sometimes late at night you can't find a lot of Ubers. Mm -hmm. Or, like, if you're in a random area and can't find Ubers, mm -hmm. but Waymo's are always available all the time. Oh! You know, they, yeah, because they never get tired. They never get tired. <laughs> they're like fully electric charged. People also feel safer. Because mm. there's no like threat of a random Uber driver taking you away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> or kidnapping you. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, what do you think about this? When, when, when I was a cruise, our largest user base was the um, were female students at UCSF. Oh. Yeah, because like at night, you just felt safer using the self-driving car. So, yeah, it's safer, more private, always available. Only downside now is slower and expensive, but mm -hmm. they will eventually get faster. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. We're about to get dropped off! Is it like trying to find a little parking area to drop us off or...? Finding a spot to pull over. <laughs> it's parking. It's parking by this curb. Honestly, the Waymo might be better at parking than me. <laughs> comes here the weekends I come here often the view from the top is really really nice oh nice so, yeah. there's so many dogs so many dogs <laughs> yes I, I want I want a dog <laughs> I love Me dogs too. are climbing to the top for the beautiful views. We made it to the top. Wow. Okay, so where are we headed off to right now? <laughs> the Castro. A Castro. Yeah, so this is where it used to the worst park, the nicest park here. 
and I'm gonna show you some neighborhoods in SF, starting with the Castro, mm -hmm. and then after that, I'm gonna take one more, way more ride. Yay! To a place of your choice. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I was first learning driving, I was like so bad at it and I was like telling my parents I can't wait till self-driving cars become a thing because then I won't have to learn how to drive. Yeah, yeah. I'm also a really bad driver. So. <laughs> the solution to that was to go work at a self-driving car company. Oh my god. <laughs> I said it's also pretty hilly. It is very hilly. It's kind of like Seattle. So I've gone to Seattle before for an intern trip with Meta. Cause uh, when I worked at Meta, I was based in the Menlo Park office, but they, the majority of my team was based in Bellevue, Washington. So they let me fly over to be my teammates. Why didn't you just do the internship in Bellevue, Washington? <laughs> so I wanted to work in headquarters, oh. but also uh, my intern manager and skip manager were both based in the headquarters so it was okay so it was so interesting because um i remember even though i was like on site in a way i was kind of a remote pm because i was so used to messaging them and so when i visited washington i like messaged them and then i was like wait a second he's right behind me why am i sending him a message <laughs> I need to exercise more. This incline is a lot. <laughs> you exercise? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> so if you go to mm -hmm. Twin Peaks, okay, which is the highest peak in the city. Oh, okay. So you have like a 360 view of that area. Okay. If you go to Golden Gate Park, which mm -hmm. is just that's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or if you go to the Palace of Fine Arts, mm -hmm. um, which is. This really, a really nice palace. That oh, would make this for pop oh, um, then let's go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> decision. Yeah. Seems like you were leading to Palace of Fine Arts when you added that extra <laughs> comment. <laughs> oh my god! Somebody else is getting picked up by a Waymo. <laughs> They walked in very casually, which yeah. tells me that they do it pretty often. <laughs> All right, let's get one more treat. Yeah. Okay, where are we going? Have you been to any of the places here? Do you have any recommendations? No. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta find out. Okay. Wow. See, everything we're experiencing right now, audience, you are also experiencing for the first time with us. <laughs> Do you see anything that excites you? I want to try some actual food. Yeah, I want lunch, lunch. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know where to go. <laughs> you can smell it though. You can smell the food. It all smells really good. Yay! Food's here. And after we finished eating, David's ordering one. Two minutes. Yay! Two minutes. Wait, that's like the quickest one so far. <laughs> Memos on our radio, so mm -hmm. High demand area. Hey, we're waiting for our Waymo right now. <laughs> I keep on forgetting to time it when you actually order it to see if it comes out the accurate time. And we should see it very soon. Yay! One minute away. One minute away. <laughs> Stay tuned for part three. We'll be sharing more stories, fun facts about self-driving cars, and more adventures. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, follow along. Yes, bye. bye. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I'm a Taiwanese American who shares my life experiences and things I learned along the way. Until next time, bye!